Alright, so what's going on guys? My name's Chopper, and welcome back everybody to a brand new video. And today, I'm going to be telling you guys about the new combat role change that was just added in the recent patch, and comparing it to the old combat role from the previous patch, and basically what the biggest adjustments are to this, and how you should end up playing it. But as always, really quickly before we get started, if you guys end up enjoying the video or if you learn anything useful from this, be, make sure you do leave a like on the video. It helps me out an absolute ton. Subscribe to this channel as well if you're brand new for more brand new videos and live streams every single day. I would appreciate it very much. And uh, with all that being said, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Now, with the most recent patch to Star Wars Battlefront 2, DICE has actually mentioned that they did adjust the combat rolling system the way that it works because they were they were concerned that you were invulnerable for too long, and it was a little bit unfair to some of the Saber heroes, you know, when you could corner anybody, any, any kind of trooper or another hero with a blaster, and they could just combat roll out of any sort of situation. It was a little unfair, so they have tweaked it, but they didn't really explain how they did it. They were The description was quite brief. All they said was that you pretty much need to time your rolls a little bit better and you're invulnerable for a, a shorter amount of time so that didn't really explain a whole lot and I jumped in game uh, and played a lot in both Galactic Assault and Heroes vs. Villains to really figure out what these specific changes were to the combat role. And while I think this combat role patch was overall good, I found a few interesting things that make it feel inconsistent and that also need adjusted as well. So, if you don't know the way that the old combat role actually worked is that as soon as you hit that circle button or B if you're on Xbox, as soon as you touch that and you begin your rolling or dodging animation, that entire time until you come back set, you are absolutely invulnerable to everything. You have zero hitbox whatsoever, so it made it very, very unfair to Saber Heroes if you were being swung at in a corner and you could dodge out of anything even blasters you could dodge so with the most recent update that rule still applies however it's been tweaked very very slightly so what i figured out is that as soon as you hit that animation you have a another like smaller window is as soon as you begin it you are still vulnerable and can be sort of magnetized back into lightsaber attacks or even blaster fire mid animation you have zero hitbox as far as i can tell and then the end of your animation there's also a slight uh, edge of vulnerability as well so i'm going to show you a couple clips of uh, some inconsistent consistencies and where you can end up getting screwed over by the game a little bit. Alright, so I want you guys to go ahead and watch this clip. Now, I'm playing as Darth Maul in Heroes vs. Villains. Don't mind the my lightsaber not showing up. It's just that little glitch that happens sometimes at the beginning of the game. But I'm playing against Rey and Yoda here, and you're going to notice a couple of weird things, and I'm going to play the clip in slow motion that I want you to pay attention to, but something is not adding up here, and you guys can probably see that. I'm going to let this clip roll one more time, so pay attention to when I take damage. It's like specifically when I come out of a combat roll, it's like you sort of leave a little bit of a hitbox behind for Saber users. This seems to be the biggest problem right now, and it feels very inconsistent, and it's only started happening with the recent update, and I'm not sure why. Now that clip was me trying out a Saber hero, and I'll show you like the same thing with a Blaster hero. I'll, be, I'll use Han Solo in uh, the upcoming one, and what you're going to see is the sort of magnetizing lightsaber effect, and this has only started happening with the most recent patch on when you're trying to combat roll away from some Saber users. Alright, so check this one out. I'm trying to roll away from Vader here and just see how consistent it is. But as you can see right here, take, take a look at the clip one more time closely. I get pulled back like mid-animation and end up dying. I'll go ahead and show you one more example of another Han versus Vader, and in this one, I'm only trying to roll away from him to see how far I can get before dying. I thought I was going to die to Boba here, and that's what I thought I did at first, but as you can see, I died to Vader's lightsaber, and you can see on the final swing that I leave some kind of hitbox in my path that he hits where my character is not actually at, and then I take damage and die from that. So right there, you can see that I go, but this didn't used to happen at all, and like, I know we need this combat roll patch, and it's definitely an overall good thing for the game. But right now, it just feels very broken. I, at least with the last combat roll patch, I know that if somebody was mid-animation, then, you know, their hitbox is absolutely zero, and I don't even need to try to attack them. Like, if it was dumb, but it felt more consistent feeling than this one. Like, I always get magnetized by lightsabers. I'll be mid-animation and get pulled back. It just feels very strange. I know DICE is still trying to tweak this, and we need, like, they're, look, they're looking out for our feedback on this thing as well. So I need you guys to go in-game and also let me know what you kind of think about this combat roll patch, because this isn't just me complaining about it and being concerned it's literally me trying to make sure that this combat role is as balanced as it can possibly be 
But in essence, what you need to know is that the combat roll does not allow you to completely eliminate any sort of hitbox anymore for a longer period of time. You need to start your animation a lot earlier from what I can tell, and it also doesn't guarantee your escape anymore, so just be on the lookout for that. But if you play around with the combat roll patch, you will know exactly how to run it, and uh, it's, I'm hoping this thing gets tweaked and adjusted in the near future. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Give me your feedback, and if you have, if you did up and end up enjoying the video, make sure you leave a like. That would be awesome. And subscribe if you are brand new to this channel. I will be live streaming every single day this week and probably for the next couple weeks too. So make sure you stick around for that. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching the video once again. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you all on the next live stream or the next video. Peace out.